I got I got some notes. I don't know if I'll use them or not. <laughs> Bible says, "Think it not strange." And what's the first thing you think? It's strange. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be hard for me to think it's unusual. Uh, Bobby called me and asked me what I was going to try to to speak on. I told him it'd be found in Second uh, Peter chapter one, verse five through ten. You know, I I love it. when I can feel God's spirit. I love it when I'm excited about what God has showed me. And I, and I still am. I'm excited about it. I don't think, I, I don't know if I can tell you what I've been studying or not. But sometimes it feels like you can't find God. Sometimes it feels like he's a thousand miles away. But you know by faith that he said, I'll never leave thee, nor forsake thee. And when you think God's not doing anything, he's up to something. <laughs> Now to find out what it is <laughs> is another thing we might find out, we might not find out. I know God desires gold tried by fire. And God tries our faith. He puts us in places that we don't want to be in. He said, I desire gold tried by fire. And God's the one that tries it. He's, he's the, the refiner of our faith. I appreciate your prayers. Uh, and I'm trusting God to help me and uh, I might be sending them a little gold, I don't know. <laughs> but but it's my time up here. The Bible says we endure hardness as a good soldier, and God puts us in hard places a lot of times. But I've uh, I've I've uh, got up here and know of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Esther Perkle had a message one time at a good time. It said, if footmen tire you, what do you go do when the horsemen come? And when the horsemen come and tire you, what you go do with the swelling of Jordan? And sometimes God puts us in those places that we'll trust him. It's easy to trust God when you're on the mountain. But it's another thing when you're in the valley. Even though he's the lily of the valley, the valley is not a place we like to be. But I think when we're in the valley, that's where God gets his goal. It was, it was, uh, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say that word start with an S again. <laughs> but uh, I, I studied and boy, I got more notes. I enjoyed studying. I get ready to go over my notes and some tell me say you can't do that. And I know, and I knew I couldn't. And I'm thinking it might be the Holy Ghost. So you know, I don't do that. I, I, I uh. Laid in my bed one night and I thought about 
the marriage supper of the Lamb. You know, I had some beautiful thoughts. A lot of it was, I can only imagine, you know. A lot of it wasn't scripture, it was only my imagination, you know. And boy, I love that, you know, and love thinking about the, the wedding supper, you know, and be there, you know, and, and thought about Christ opening up the book and me reading my title clear, you know. That's not necessary to have assurance of your salvation, but I'd like to see that, wouldn't y'all? I'd like to see that name. Written from the foundation of the world. But when I, when I started back studying, I, I, I couldn't do it. I, don't, I, don't think, I don't, still don't think it'd be right to do that because a lot of it was, I can only imagine. You know, we, we don't know what heaven's like. We don't know what the Lord's Supper's like. Okay. Let me ask you a question. And don't answer me. Do you know you're saved? I mean, do you really know you're saved? Are you shown up saved? Are you saved without a doubt? Or maybe sometimes do you doubt your salvation? There was a man that brought his son to the disciples because he had an evil spirit. He had a, a devil. He had a demon. You know, it's in three different places in the Bible. And he brought him to his, the disciples, you know. And, and then he went to Jesus and told him, you know, that he had, a, he had a boy and he was, you know, had an evil spirit and asked him to do something. If he could, and he told them, said, I went to the disciples, and they couldn't cure him. And the Bible says in one place it was because of their unbelief. And Jesus told them, said, bring him here. But then he told him something, something that made the man cry, made him weep. He loved his boy. And he went to Jesus for him to heal him. He, Jesus told him, said, uh, said, you can heal him. He said, all things are possible with thee if you believe. He was telling him, you could heal him. And the man said, began to weep because he knew that he couldn't heal him because there was something hindering him. And he said, he told him, if you believe, all things are possible. He said, Lord, I believe. But he, he didn't stop there. He said, but help mine unbelief. Yeah. So he was a believer. Christ would have never told an unbeliever he could, you, you know, that he could do that. And that's the way it is sometimes with, with our salvation. You know, uh, if you have doubts in your heart about your salvation, there's something you need to do about it. And I, I told Bobby, I said, uh, Bobby, I'm going to uh, try to talk on Second Peter 1, 5 through 9. Making your calling and election sure. And the Bible starts in verse 5. And besides all this, giving all diligence, that's Brother James' word, he's been telling us about diligence two or three weeks. Speedily. It's your business. Don't put it off. Do it now. Giving all diligence, add to your faith. You got to start off with faith. Right. Add to your faith virtue, and to your virtue knowledge, and to your Knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, 
patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. And this is how you make your calling and election sure, by adding all these things to your faith. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren. That word is, Id is idle. It's like coming up to the, to the red light and putting your car in neutral or, or putting your foot on the brake. And the motor's still running, but you ain't going nowhere. And you, when you go through these things that you're adding to faith, if you ever get get to that place where you just idling and you stop, then you'll never have the assurance of your salvation. And unfruitful in the knowledge or in the knowing or in the full assurance of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that liketh these things, listen to this. It's almost unbelievable that a Christian can get in the shape that they get into with just a little doubt in the heart. It's the little foxes that destroy the grapevines yeah. and the little level, uh, leaven that leavens the whole lump. And this is a picture of the whole lump got level. But he that liketh these things is blind. He's blind to the things of God and cannot see afar off. He, can't, he sure can't see his, his election. And that's, that's far off for a lot of Christians, you know, to see. And you can't make your election sure until you make your calling sure. Then if you can make your calling sure, you can make your election sure. But he that liketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. And listen to this. Has forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And he's forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. But he said all things become new. In uh, Hebrews 1, 3, that word purge. You know, this is, this is to the Christian. And, and you don't know what a shape a Christian can get into if he gets into sin. Hebrews uh, 1, 3. This is that this is that same word purged. I hope I got the right yeah, word. Uh -huh. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he has by himself purged our sins and sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Can you imagine forgetting that you were purged from your old sins? I can't. But I, I suppose if you get far enough out into sin, you can. You can get that way. Therefore, the rather, brethren, Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And how do we do that? Verse 5, 6, and 7 tell us to, to add, give all diligence, it says right there. All diligence to add to your faith, virtue, and knowledge, and on down to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, the things that I was just talking about, you shall never fail. That word fail is 
error of sin. And that means that you shall, the context of this is making your calling and election sure. And it may mean you'll never err from calling, making your calling and election sure. I, th I think I'm going uh, I think I'm gonna stop there, and uh, but I, I would uh, like to like to read one verse, may or may not, if I'm a be beautiful verse that Sandra and I uh, was talking about. It might be a help, and it might be a a blessing to someone. It's uh, Job, uh, you don't have to turn out unless you just want to. Job 23, 10. But he knoweth the way that I take. You know, a lot of us might get in trouble or might be tried because of our sin. Or might be tried of somebody because of somebody else's sin. Or might be tried just because God desires gold, tried by fire. But it's a blessing to know that he knoweth the way that I take. Yeah. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Yeah. Be sure, be very sure your anchor holds within the solid rock. Amen.